Thank you for completing the Sitting Guild's International ESOL and Spoken ESOL workshop. That was the overview of the test. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it interesting. But above all, I hope that you found it engaging. I hope that you felt it was not a lecture, not a presentation, but very much intended to be interactive. Interactive if you could, if you had the opportunity to work with colleagues, or if not, interactive with us. I hope that you found the tasks, the activities enjoyable in themselves, but don't forget that there is another purpose to these tasks and activities. They're intended to serve as a model for what you can actually do in the classroom. Some of you may be new to Sitting Guilds International ESOL and Spoken ESOL, in which case it'll mean a lot more to you when you actually apply what's there in the workshop in practice in your classroom teaching. Don't forget, the beauty of the workshops is that you can go back over them, you can refer to them and you can see, I hope, that what you've done in completing that workshop is to go through the process of a learner is to go through the process of seeing different tasks from a learner's point of view. We've looked at the different teaching situations, unilingual, monolingual and multilingual groups. Um, I'm very grateful to friends and colleagues at Academic Summer and Sidmouth International School, where I'm currently working. They have tried these workshop tasks and ideas with learners of all levels, in all settings, um, in all the different skills and subskills they have given me some practical ideas. The workshops are intended to be full of ideas, as are the support materials that we mention during the workshops. In the um, separate workshops that I hope you will follow, at the end of each, we pick on particular teaching tips. So if it's reading, we'll look at skimming and scanning. If it's listening, we'll look at the difference between extensive and intensive. I won't tell you any more at the moment, because I very much hope that you will look at the different skills and subskills workshops. If you do, bear with me if I repeat the message each time, but it is the important message. These workshops are intended to give you a genuine insight into what your learners go through as candidates, and also to give you an insight into the tasks themselves. By completing the workshop successfully, you will not only have seen the tasks, you'll have experienced them at first hand. Thank you very much. All success in your teaching.